Hi there, my name is Steve Dyson. I'm product manager at Ager for distribution products, which includes the consumer unit. Now the 17th edition are going to bring a lot of changes uh, for the electricians in terms of the way that they configure consumer units. And one of the areas uh, that the regulations talk about is the amount of skill that you have within a house uh, using electrical equipment. So we have a skilled person initially, which is somebody who is uh, trained technically to work inside the consumer unit safely. Um, you then have an instructed person who obviously can work with equipment within, within inside premises. And then we have the ordinary person. Now the ordinary person um, would be, for instance, somebody in the household. Now we're here today at Taylor Wimpy site here in uh, Telford. And we're going to have a look uh, and have a chat to Mark um, inside. So let's go and have a look. This is Mark Lockley and he's from Edwards Technical. Um, we're going to have a little chat about uh, OSTE uh, protection um, in the house. In terms of uh, the 17th edition, what yeah. are the changes, how have they affected the way that um, you install socket outlets? Well, the, the 17th edition states that all socket outlets must have an OCD protected circuit. Okay, okay. What's the difference between that and the, the 16th edition? Well, the 16th edition, it was only uh, socket outlets that might be used for outdoor purposes, such as lawnmowers, um, pair of tools, things like that. Okay, so does this affect other circuits as well now? Um, y yes, it does, and the way they're installed, yeah. We also know there's been significant changes in the way that we wire up um, lighting as well, and especially switches. So Mark, can you tell us what the changes have been uh, with the 17th edition now? The new regulations state that uh, any cable in less than 50 mil depth covering, um, or in metal partitions, uh, needs to be protected by an RCD. And is that uh, 30 milliamp? 30 milliamp, yeah, okay. and, re and relevant to the size of the circuit. So installing within the safety zone, as in with the 16th edition, does that still apply? It does still apply, yeah, but uh, if the outlet's going to be used by an ordering person, it does need 30 milliamp. Okay, good. One area that needs special consideration is um, any area that contains a bath or a shower. So how have the 17th edition uh, changed uh, installations in this sort of area? Well, the new regulations now state that all circuits within a bathroom, shower room or en suite uh, need to be protected by 30 milliamp RCD. So are there any other changes uh, from the 16th edition that affect the 17th edition? The RCD rating complies and the circuits comply with the new regs. There's no need for as much supplementary bonding as there used to be. Okay. Another area that deserves some attention are power circuits that um, feed the fire detection system. Now, what uh, do the regs uh, say about uh, fire detection systems? Uh, the regs state that any circuit providing power for a fire detection system shouldn't be fed from an RCD. So there are two options available to us. What are those two options? Uh, one option is the supply cables can be fed via a earth metallic conduit. And the second one is, they can be RCD supplied, but not from an RCD that would provide protection to socket outlets or equipment for use outdoors. All this brings us to the arrangement of the circuits and the protection with the consumer unit. Clearly there's going to be more use of RCDs within consumer units, uh, but this has its own implications. What are your main concerns, Mark? Well, one of the main concerns of fitting RCDs is nuisance stripping. Well, well what we do is we fit a board with two RCDs, um, mainly controlled, well, main controlled by a 100 amp isolator. So, with a bit of planning and thought, uh, it shouldn't be a problem at all getting the circuits right, as long as you know your regs. Clearly, the main thing that the 17th edition has given us is that we'll be using increasing numbers of RCDs. Now Mark's shown us one way to do this, but there are many other ways to do it. Hager's produced a guide which can show you the relevant parts of the 17th edition, but also how to comply with that. Now, we are running some free seminars, uh, which the details are available on this website.